Welcome back. I know it's been a little bit. <laughs> um, no apologies given because I don't have bosses and, uh, you know, decided to take some holiday time and uh, uh, also started a new job. So that's been taking up a lot of my time. I have to study. I'm in an apprenticeship. And so um, that's what I've been doing. So anyway, and to be perfectly candid with you, it's been such a brutal year. I just haven't been that motivated. So I think you all can appreciate that and are probably in the same place. However, I'm still plowing away, and we'll get into that in a minute, uh, you know, which we'll talk about uh, after we do the piggy bank strategy round. Uh, the passive income poet is still on PTO. <laughs> um, I'll bring him back in a little bit when I have a little bit more time. But uh, anyway, um, we're going to jump right in. As you all know, if you don't know, um, I basically have been taking a every month the four unlock piggy banks uh, that I have. I cash those in, and I start two new um, uh, piggy banks and uh, again that happens every month so um, I'm basically stacking them right and daisy chaining those together so they'll start coming unlocked once a month here uh, next year actually I, my first one will uh, my long-term one will unlock uh, in May on May 11th then because there was so little in the piggy banks I waited a couple more months for there to be a good enough build up and so it'll, I think it'll be in July or August before they really start you know coming unlocked monthly but uh, but anyway I'm um, just kind of sharing with you my journey but before we get started again I am not your financial advisor or a financial advisor I'm not your friend I'm just some dude on YouTube sharing with you my uh, journey in crypto and DeFi and we're gonna jump right in so I do have a playlist for all the piggy bank um, strategies that I've done to date and so uh, you can go and check those out they're they're, they're in the playlist on this channel so uh, pretty easy to find you can kind of watch from day one and in February on February 14th it'll actually be my one year anniversary of being involved in drip and uh, I'll give you some thoughts on you know as we go and I share share with you my the wallet updates as well um, but we're gonna jump right in we're gonna go right over to the piggy bank let me click off and click back on and you can see that I have 31 13 1 and 6 and some change here uh, in the unlocked piggy banks and I'm gonna actually update my spreadsheet here I kind of track this and uh, 31 13 one and six I think it was right and I'll just double check that there were 13 one and six yeah this is almost seven but again close enough so what we'll do here um, and again I track this so I should have divided 51 by two right it'll be a little bit more but uh, I have for each new piggy bank I do uh, every month I start a 57 week piggy bank uh, stake that's locked and then the maximum a one for the maximum 156 so I'll have about $25.50 uh, in LP that after I sell these that I'll be adding to each piggy bank, right? And if we go here to the, um, this is drip.formulate.finance in the piggy bank, at the bottom you can kind of guesstimate what, how many um, piglets you'll get for uh, when you add LP, right? So I'm going to say 9 million, a little bit less, right? So my 9 million two that's about it so I th I'm hoping that I get at least nine million two per piggy bank stake which is you know pretty darn good to start out with right so let's see I got that updated um, I will you know update and see you know what uh, uh, what the net piglets are here when I when I do this but uh, you know anyway th this is what I'll walk you through in terms of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it right but uh, that's that's the uh, the goal and that's we'll see where it actually ends up you know after taxes and things like that so anyway let's go ahead and, and do this now again I try and I end up remaining a little bit careful here and quiet because I want to make sure that I'm selling and not compounding right and so I compounded by accident you know this you got to take your time and doing this stuff I've shared with you the mistakes I've made in the past and they can be costly if you're not careful so just be careful so we are selling number one two three and four of the piglets and then we'll open up new piggy bank stakes right all right so let's sell and we'll see how much these are hopefully this isn't Ooh, look at this price man that's brutal so I go in and I've actually been um, you know editing these in terms of the, the price that that they're charging right so um, this is just I, I feel like these gas fees are just outrageously ridiculous so I'm gonna just slow down here let me get the calculator out 
And what I've been finding is that it's, if you knock off about 25% of what the suggested um, asking price is, you can get the price to go through. So I'm going to do um, 19. I'm just going to do 190, right? And to see if to knock it down because I don't want it to fail either. Right? And then I'm going to save this. We'll see if this goes through. Dude, that's still, boy, that's steep. Anyway, we're going to do it because I only do this once a month. And you guys are watching. But man, that is brutal. We'll see if that goes through. Looks like it did. So then we'll go up and we'll do the next one. Sell. Edit this. Do the same thing. Knock this down in price. Hopefully that'll go through, no problems. Looks like it did. Took my money. Same thing, we'll sell. Edit this. Knock it down to 19. Save it. And again, saved 80 cents. And apologies, my teenage daughter is throwing temper tantrums in the background. If you hear that, uh, those of you with teenage daughters can appreciate uh, that plate <laughs> that's going on, right? Um, there we go, went through. And then we got one more. And hopefully my daughter will calm down and not make noise in the background while I'm doing this. All those distractions in life, man. So I'm knock this down again. And again, this this starts adding up when you uh, start, you know, reducing this, right? So I went what seventy four cents I saved here, um, you know, times four. I mean, that's almost three bucks that I saved just by taking the time to do that. All right, so let me click off and click back on. I should have sold all of these. There we go. They're all gone. All those totals are gone here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here. Um, click off and click back on. It looks like I have 1.6 or 2.6 in uh, LP. All right. So let me click off again. You want to make sure that this is adding up, you know, and that that you're not screwing yourself here in terms of, you know, what you actually have available, right? So let's do this. I'm going to take so that's about 1.3 per, okay? So I'm going to bump this up. We'll do I do the 57 week first, right? So this is this is the total of all four of those that I just sold, okay. And I don't know how much I'm going to get. We'll see here in a second, and we'll you know add that up. Um, but let's do this. Let's just go 1.3, all right. And buy piglets, and I'm, you can see I'm getting 5,000% of my time lock bonus there. Knowledge and let's see what the damage is going to be here. Boy, this is not cheap again, man. I tell you, I, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, finance is not cheap. It's not like a XRP or Flare or Songbird, but uh, anyway, that's a whole other video and a different conversation. All right, let's go see. If it clears, it should. There we go. I'm going to click off. I'm going to click back on. And there we go, I have number 20. And I actually got, um, looks like what I start out with, um, oops, piglets. I, got, I only got 5 million piglets, so I was off. I was off in my, my estimate, but still not a bad uh, um, not a bad starting point here. So and then I'm going to go back up and I'm going to do, um, there we go, I have remaining. I'm going to do the maximum duration of 156 weeks. I'm going to max this out. Uh, we're going to buy piglets. Acknowledge. Knock this price down. Save 74 cents. Let's make sure this goes through. And then I will have two new piggy banks. So again, after each month, and then after two years, because these maximum of 156 weeks, those are three-year stake locks, right? And this whole thing could disappear, right? So I might just not ever, ever see a thing, just so you know. It's high risk, right? 
but um, if it does hang on and, and we, uh, you know, uh, it does last and, you know, then again, I'll be having a new piggy bank unlocked after, basically after a year, as I mentioned earlier, and then after three years, I'm only going to have to do the, um, uh, uh, the, the three years and not, I'm not going to do the yearly, right? Because um, then I'll have a piggy bank, a long-term piggy bank being unlocked monthly. Plus, I don't want to pay those extra fees, um, you know, for having a two-year or a one-year stake in, the, in there anyway. So let's click off, click back on, and then I'm going to um, go back down and confirm that this is there. Okay, good. Yeah, I got another five million there. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to, I basically track how many piglets I get, um, and I'm going to go back over here. All right, so I got double of what I got the first time, right? So paste this in, paste this in, and what did I say, 2550? And I'll change this after. 50, my, and I'll do my max payout here as well. These are gonna be the same, uh, because it's the same lengths that I do every week. And then let me get the piglets here as well, track that, and then I'll update everything else later. But again, the, um, well, the, the, the compounding and how quickly this thing builds if you are doing this daily, which you should be, because that's where you're getting your, um, your bonus, right? Your time lock bonus in there. I'll tell you what, if you're not doing that, you're, you're killing yourself. You gotta be diligent. You can see I track these things uh, daily and I, I'm in there daily you know and so sometimes it slips over because um, <clears throat> excuse me because you know I, I I can't do it right at the same time every day right you have work you have you know kids games you gotta go to and things like that and um, you know so you don't do it and sometimes it just creeps into the evening and sometimes I don't do it until the morning so it's within that 24 hour period however um, you know it's not uh, um, you know, right at that 24 hour mark, right? So I'm not necessarily maximizing, but I think I'm probably doing better than 99% of people who are involved here. And again, the long term goal here is that, you know, as we get out of crypto winter, it won't last forever, you know, um, and it's not going to zero, but, you know, who knows when it'll happen. I can't guarantee that. Uh, you know, again, it's been tough. It's been tough emotionally for everybody, right? So there we go. You see the, uh, the numbers here. Got, uh, you last month on 12.4 I got 2.6 million in each one and and this month I got basically double that and so you I'll, let me actually I'm gonna take you oops it's right there so I'll show you what the um, totals were right you can see I started uh, the, at that 2.6 million uh, piggy bank number 19 up here um, and you can see just in one month a little bit less than one month how quickly this compounding I'm at 13 million piglets here and 7 million for this one and these are all quickly surpassing uh, the other ones even though they started lower so I, I I think that you know once this thing starts to rebound if it starts to rebound I'm setting myself up well and again Thomas G talked about it in his videos right he had a long-term view on this and you know didn't need that immediate gratification which is the the you know what I the, the approach I'm taking so there you go there you have it so let's jump back over I just want to talk to you real quick I want to get you in and out because I got things I got to get done <laughs> uh, today I got a lot of studying to do so are you prepared for this so I don't know if you all are like me in terms of you know people that know that you're in crypto and you're kinda they come up to you with that head tilt and just the sad eyes and just that pitying smile and tone in their voice saying how's your crypto doing they know that we're in a crypto winner and you know they, they uh, heard us talking about it when we're hyped up but you know they, they kind of and they just kind of look at you and kind of rest their hand on your shoulder how's your crypto doing and I'm like well, it's doing the same as everybody else's, and it's probably doing better than most people's 401k. How's your 401k doing? And, you know, the people in good humor that are good-natured about it, they kind of laugh and say, well, that sucks too. <laughs> right? So, again, keep it in perspective, right? The whole market is not doing great right now. And, and, and so, you know... Um, if you have that now, if you have that long-term delayed gratification and you're accumulating right now, that's what you should be looking at and what you should be trying to do, right? I mean, I think that it's this is where the opportunity is. This is where you make your money. It's not in in the in the um, the bull markets. It's in the bear markets and in, in when you're accumulating. And that's what I've been doing diligently, daily and weekly and monthly and this whole past year, right? And what's going to happen? This is what you need to be prepared for. Are you prepared for this? 
you're going to have people who are going to look at you when this bull run comes and you start making money and maybe life-changing money and they're going to say you got lucky right not realizing all the time you put in watching videos like this one all the research you've done the the investment of your hard-earned capital and and having that delayed gratification that's what they're gonna say they're gonna say you got lucky and they're gonna say that because they feel bad that they did not take advantage of the bull of the bear market here right and accumulating right and I think next uh, the next video I do uh, again I just don't have much time but I have a crap load of cans and bottles in, in Michigan here we get a 10 cent return so you know it's just cumbersome to go and return all those but what I'm gonna do just because I think that it's it's it would be just a good exercise it doesn't take a lot for you to start in this thing right but I'm gonna go cash all of those in and I'm gonna start a new wallet and it's gonna be the called the no excuses cans and bottles drip faucet wallet right and I'm gonna I'll show you guys how much I cash in I'm gonna show you how much I deposit and just show you what accumulates and what comes from this just so that you know that it doesn't take much because I want you to see the price of drip right now price of drip is 79 cents man so I mean I've got hundreds of cans and bottles in there right so I'm gonna come out who knows how much I'll come maybe I'll start out with 10 drip right and and so we'll see we'll see how much I start out with but again we're just gonna keep track of this again it's gonna be called the no excuses cans and bottles drip faucet and uh, you know we'll track and then you know when this bear, when this bull market comes and you know everyone's gonna say you're lucky you can refer them to this video and say look man this dude on YouTube who's not my financial advisor <laughs> and not my friend but I watched him do this he cashed in cans and bottles you can in, in a bad economy in a recession you know when the prices are at all-time lows and this is where he's at now so anyway that's what we're gonna do so let's get to these wallets and then I'll get you guys out of here I surpassed I think that last or was close to surpassing that last video I did uh, you know 2000 almost said by, by tonight actually I'm not doing at the first of the month I basically take and you know airdrop to everybody underneath me which I have three of my own wallets in one um, uh, family, my, my son who has a wallet, and I just airdrop at the at each at the end of each month. So I do that, and then also I've been cashing out on Saturdays and selling just because to pay for the BNB. I don't want to put new capital in, right? So um, you know, and it's been at an all time low. But uh, anyway, it's it's uh, you know it is what it is, right? But uh, it helps just uh, you know helps with those gas fees as you saw in the wallets. But uh, but you know tomorrow evening uh, when I uh, hy hydrate, it, I'll be over that two thousand two hundred mark there so that's where I am with my primary drip wallet I won't you know waste your time on the other ones and I gotta say uh, although because I've been claiming a little bit here um, same thing there's a different setup in the piston token so I got bumped up because uh, I'm not below this zero to you know claim right here zero to 31.27 and the reason for that is that I've also been doing that 5x boost which kind of automatically claims and so that's been bumping me out so uh, bumping me up as well to be above that so hopefully when I hydrate tonight that'll get me back down to that 10% and 10% um, you know charge here claim tax uh, if I keep uh, hydrating here again um, but again but here's what I'll say I don't love this but here's what I will say um, the price here has been stable right so just just dip below two bucks uh, this morning it was above two yesterday so but it's been consistently the last two bucks the last couple of months so say what you want to about piston everyone keeps dogging all the other knockoff uh, you know drip clones here but this one's been holding price pretty pretty significantly and I as you can see here I have one over 1,000 um, you know so I'm getting over 10 a day here uh, in my piston token which you know that's 20 bucks you know and at the end of the day it's all about passive income that's what this channel is and so the next video is also because the, the uh, flare airdrop is coming even though I was on coinbase unfortunately I don't know when I'm gonna get mine but I'm still gonna convert some of my XRP and, and purchase some flared and I'll get into that whole thing but that's gonna be generating some passive income I have about 60,000 songbird which is you know at a penny right now so again opportunity there and that's generating me about over 300 uh, songbird a week um, you know again this is about this this channel is not you know I'm not a drip maxi I'm not an anything maxi I'm a passive income maxi and that's what this channel is about so we'll get into those things a lot more here now that there's a firm date of January 9th after more than two years of the flare network waiting to get launched but it's it's a pretty spectacular network um, that I think everyone should be aware of and you will be aware of it soon I, I guarantee you so anyway so that's where we are with the um, 
uh, with the uh, uh, piston token and my piston wallet. All right, let's jump over here. Pigpen, I've been taking, here, I'll tell you my approach. I mean, this thing has been paying out decently. I think that I got, actually, I'll show you what I got last uh, compound. I got 20, I had 27 bucks that I was able, after, you know, 24, oh, I, I let it roll for the week, right, just so you know. So, um, I, I got, uh, in BUSD, I got $27, almost $27.50 on the last, uh, um, on Saturday night, uh, which is nice. And what I did there is I took, uh, uh, seven bucks and uh, converted that to BNB to help with the fees. I took five bucks or took ten bucks and got um, uh, bought some pig tokens. Which uh, let me see here. Actually, that, uh, those were deposited. So, um, but you can see I'm at uh, almost at 26 pigs, right? And so I did took ten of that remaining 20 and put it uh, bought pigs. I took five of the remaining 20 and bought. Uh, some dog tokens, which, uh, you know, again, you saw the piggy bank here. I'll just let you scroll up and let you kind of take a look at, you know, uh, where the piggy banks are and what's going on there, right? Um, and then, uh, and you can pause this at any time if you want to see this dog pound. I've been adding, I'm trying to evenly um, bump up uh, both a linear and auto compounding pool. I'm not planning on, uh, you know, um, uh, claiming or selling my dogs. Anything that's generating me passive income, if it's not costing me more to actually, you know, capitalize on it. I'm, and this, I basically, I'm going to get to point one um, on each of these, right? So you can see the earnings here. It's not worth cashing it in. So I'm just going to let them roll. And each week I'll add to the dogs and I'm going to, you know, try and get them up, you know, bring this one to 12 and then I'll bring this one to 12, you know, when I do this. And so uh, you can see all my, my uh, dog stakes here, you know, that I'm doing. And so um, next next time that I compound next Saturday, you can see this waiting here. And then I did claim out, um, you know, the, on Saturday my dogs LP tokens here because I did put those in the farm. And I'm not claiming out all the farms. Again, I have that point one is my threshold before I cash out is my personal goal. At personal limit, I don't have anything in the pools, but I'll show you the the farms right now. So, um, oh, and then the remaining five of that twenty after the dogs. So I had ten for pigs, um, ten, ten or five for dogs, and then I bought five um, drip BUSD that I put in as well. So I keep building this back up. But um, so you can see that I have um, 0 0.01 earned, and when this gets to point one, that's when I'll cash it out, right? So uh, dogs BUSD, I don't, I'm not adding anything in there as well. But the the you know basically from the dog pound, I did add this, right? So I'm at point two staked here, and this will build up over time. There's no need for me to you know, I don't know. I'm not I'm not that pressed about this. I just have something in there earning, and again when this. Uh, when the pigs gets to point one, I'll cash it out and move it over. And then drip BOSD, um, again, I'm not tracking these in a spreadsheet or anything, but again, uh, when I do add the deposit, it automatically pulls the dogs over. So, but I'm at 14.7 uh, uh, drip BOSD. And then we'll jump down to my cake and BOSD um, pool. This has been generating decent cash for me as well, right? So I can't remember what I cashed out here, but it had, uh, I think it had 0 0.2 dogs when I cashed this out. And then we will jump over to the Drip Garden. You know, and again, this thing, I think the con, it's been kind of fluctuating and, and stabilizing a little bit here, uh, just so you know. So by the end of the week, I will have um, uh, 60 actually to, by tomorrow or the next day I should have 60 million and actually by next next video next week I should have um, you know definitely I should actually be closer to 70 so um, you know again it's it, this thing is pumping I'll jump over and show you guys I like showing this but uh, you can see kind of you know what's going on here you know this has been going up a little bit it was down to 17 18 at one point in time my share of the contract is 0 0.0731 um, you can see how quickly this thing is pumping up. And again, last time I uh, compounded was yesterday uh, evening at about 4 o'clock. So I'll jump down here and show you my um, my stats. I don't track the seeds that much. It's just kind of a cumbersome bother, you know, but I uh, appreciate that they have it there. So uh, again, 21 bucks a day. You know, again, uh, better than a kick in the butt, right? Um, and again, per hour, I'm generating LP 0.27 and 6.6 .6 a day. And then plants... Uh, 22 per second, 1300 per minute, looking to get that 100,000 per hour. That's my next milestone. I'm almost at, actually by tonight when I compound, I should be at 2 million uh, plants per day. And when I get to that, um, 
2.4 that should be that hundred thousand right so uh, anyway that's what's going on with the uh, drip uh, wallet we'll jump over here to dune analytics what I say was that uh, what am I at 58 so I should be with if I jump over to dune analytics here and uh, we'll just do a refresh here they, they're starting to charge I'm not paying for another one of these but uh, I, can, I can go and see um, where I'm at right so I'm at in terms of the overall af after in a day or so I keep catching up I'll be in this top this top tier here uh, shortly because I'm pretty consistent about you know doing that right now I'm right here in this tier but again after tonight or tomorrow I'll be in that 60 uh, million 60 to 70 million and again it just keeps compounding and get, keeps going quicker and quicker here all of this to be said is that right now everything sucks in a bear market right um, hang in there right you know and again those all those friends be kind to them anyway and and again when things do turn around and do explode and I, even though I hate coinbase they do have this one commercial I think is really good that talks about all the old new technology that came out the internet personal computers and then you know it makes the reference to same thing with crypto and DeFi here right same thing is gonna happen right we're early we're, we're not wrong and this is what I keep telling people who are asking me with their heads tilted to the side with the pity look and the pity tone of voice you know the condescending voice and saying how's your crypto doing you know I just look at them and tell them what I told you I ask how's your 401k doing right and then I also say listen I'm not wrong I'm early even though it feels and looks like a you know the same result right now there's a big difference in being wrong and then there's a big difference in being early and and I'm early and if you're in this and you're, you're also early right so keep that in perspective as well so would I have wanted to be done with having to work <laughs> I would have, but you know what? I'm not going to cry over this, man. It's a solo sport. Um, you know, I'm going to again. I'm going to start my uh, no excuses bottles and cans wallet, and and uh, um, you know, you, you you put your big boy pants on and you get back on the horse and you do what you got to do, right? That's that's what it's about. No excuses, not blaming anybody. I'm my own man. I take my own responsibility, and I'll reap my own rewards as well. So anyway, that's going to do it. Be kind to people. You know, be generous when you can, even though things are, are, are tough. Um, keep keep working make the adjustments you need to make because again it's not always going to be like this so have a great one uh, we'll be putting more videos up more consistently as I can with this new job but uh, we will talk to you at the next video